it's a monkey mar before we get into today's a video please make sure you click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like and without further ado let's get into today's a video Leticia Stout's family tree a part nine and I'm not sure how many episodes we will take it but I guess as many as we need to. All right, it is time for me to add Ida Louise as children. Ida Louise is the mother to Bessie Lou. Bessie Lou is the mother to Betty Lou. Betty Lou is Deborah Sue Locklear's mom. And we all know that she is the mother of Letitia Evil. So I am going to add them and I will be right back. And we need to focus on the kids on this side and Randy Allen. Still a no go on Randy Allen. There's so many, but I'm going to find them. So let's go ahead and add the kids. These kids all of these kids right here okay wait a minute because I am confused now Ida so the great 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 grandmother Ida Louise Mrs. Ida Scott Lowry Locklear has two husbands she has John L. Scott John L. Scott And she has another one named Alec Chelsea Locklear. I got to look into that because now we've got a second husband with the last name Locklear. Okay, it just gets deeper. All right, let's get the kids in. Okay, so now we have Ida's children in with John Scott, and it looks like they had all of these kids together. They are on both of the obituaries, and it looks like by the time she married Alec, they didn't have any more kids. They were older. Now, before we go on, though, we cannot forget about something that just keeps poking me in the side. And that is in Betty Lou Sampson's obituary. Betty Lou Sampson is Deborah Locklear's mom, right here. She is the one who was with Milton Ray Locklear. But in her obituary, it states, Surviving our two daughters, Deborah Sue Locklear and her husband, Stephen. Now, this was in 2009. Both of Pembroke and Raquel or Rachel Sampson Lewis of Lumberton and her mother Bessie Scott and her father Chafin. Horace, the brother, and then the grandchildren. But Deborah was with a Stephen. And very early on, I was always curious who that Steve dial was I believe that is who her husband is but I am going to add another partner Woo, busy busy another spouse and because I don't know the last name I'm going to leave it blank but I I believe it's going to end up being a Steve Adile. But I'm not going to get too excited yet. 
Okay, so we got Deborah Locklear with Tommy Ray Harden, Letitia Evil's father. Then we have her with James Lowry. They had two children together, Julie Ruby and Dakota James. Lowry already had Amy. Debbie was the stepmom. James Lowry was hit and killed by a car. And then in, in her mother's obituary, it says her husband, Stephen, which is right here. Stephen who? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's going to end up being Stephen Dial. Don't ask me why. I just got a little spidey sense going on. And I'm beginning to feel like I'm part of the family. We need to go and figure out some kids and get into the same age group of Letitia Evil. Alright guys, alive. I'm trying to get Streamlabs set up and as soon as I do, I want to meet all of you. Okay, I am going to focus on, I mean the tree is getting so big I have no idea what I'm even looking at. But as you see, we're going to leave Chance's side of the family out. I did receive another message on Facebook from that side of the family and I'm going to leave his name out but let me say this to all of you if I end up going missing please go to North Carolina and find me I'm only kidding okay let's go and see if we can figure out who is the Steve that she was married to and I want to go and see if I can find a little more on Randy Allen down in Florida is that even his name it's getting so big I don't Alan I'm sorry right here all right let's go see I found a Stevie L dial I don't know if Stevie is Steven the one married to Deborah Locklear at one time but this Stevie dial is from Pembroke North Carolina and he definitely has the connection to Deborah S Locklear a Donna Marie Locklear a Donna dial so what I found interesting is that Stevie Dial is deceased and I found his obituary so let's go have a look. Here is Stevie Dial's obituary. Pembroke, Stevie Dial, 50. These, some of these, most of the men really do pass away at an early age, the lumpy Indian men. It's sad. 701 Normal Street died Saturday July 21st 2012 so then we've got a very short and simple obituary survived by wife Donna Locklear son Dylan daughters Courtney Oxendine Sarah and Ashley and his mother Dale his father seems to be not mentioned at all I'm going to see if I can even figure out if this is the Stevie dash Steven that was married to Deborah Locklear where it says in Betty Lou's um, obituary that surviving by her daughter Deborah Locklear and her husband Steven I just believe that this is the one but let me see if I can figure out when Stevie and Donna were married this is turning into a serious jigsaw puzzle. At the residence where Donna S. Locklear, Letitia Evil's mom, lives, we've got Deborah, Dakota, and Julia living there. Previous residents, we've got Heather Locklear, Carolyn J. Hunt, Letitia Evil, Donna M. Locklear, Julie R. Lowry, Carol Lee Hunt, David Clinton Hunt, Robbie Lay Lambert, and Stevie L. Dial. So, is it a different Stephen that she was with? And what is the connection that would have Donna M. Locklear and Stevie Dial living at that location? My nosy detectives, I need your help. If anyone has ancestry, and if you could help me locate the Stephen that Deborah S. Locklear was married to, I would greatly appreciate it. 
and we need to figure out the location still into Florida but in order to find the branch off to Florida we need to figure out who is involved in the mother's generation to their children so Stevie L. Dial passed away when he did pass away his wife was Donna Locklear which is right here so guys let's keep digging and let's keep a being nosy what i am going to do is on stevie dial i did add him as a partner a friend into deborah locklear just to have him in the tree so we can see if we can build off of some connection since we know that he was living at her residence but with him, let's go ahead and add a wife. Just so that we can have Donna Locklear in the tree. And I do not know birthplace and all that yet. So I'm just going to save her so that we can work off of this too. Because we just never know where the connection down to Florida is going to be. So now we've got... Oh, look at I've already put her in. And I did find his father. His father is Louis Dial. His mother is Dale. Then we've got Donna Dial Locklear. So let's go ahead and remove this one. Since we don't have to... Come on, computer. since we don't need to have that person in the tree. Okay. All right, so Stevie L. Dial was married to Donna Locklear, and I will find all of that out on Ancestry, but my main focus right now is down in Jacksonville with Randy Allen. And I'm looking and I'm looking, but I still cannot find the connections. But I will. So guys, I need your help, and with that, I think I am going to wrap up this video and get it out, and I will do a part nine and a half. I'm going to do a little investigating today, and I will get right on it. I've been out of town. Unfortunately, I had a death in my family, which has brought me away from YouTube, for a little while but I am back home and I will be getting uh, more videos uh, to come see and this is where it gets confusing I went back to Stevie Dial's obituary because I think I might have his date of birth wrong but when you read and I'm going to put his family members in just because I know in my gut that I'm going to find that connection to the Pensacola area, but he was survived by his wife, Donna Locklear, a son, Dylan, daughters, Courtney Oxendine, Sarah, and Ashley, mother, Dale, and sister, Donna, and a grandchild. So he has a sister named Donna as well as his wife's name was Donna. So this very well could not be the one that Deborah S. Locklear was married to, but this D.B. Dial and his wife Donna are on the property on Deep Branch Road. So there's a connection somewhere. We know that Donna is not Deborah Locklear's sister. So... Where is the connection? Let's figure this out. Let me go ahead and put in his children and his sister, Donna. Even though there is no last name for Donna, I am going to dig onto Ancestry and see what I can find. But first, let's get in his family members that we can see right here in the obituary. All right, so I am going to add Stevie Dial, sister Donna, and Donna and 
Stevie Dial's children. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back. I had a backtrack. I was going to wrap up this video, but you know, I am so nosy. When I saw the leaf come up on Donna Dial, who is Stevie Dial's sister, I don't know why I do not click the leaves. I am going to save that for a live, but it's an obituary and I haven't looked yet I was waiting to have you guys with me but the name is Donna Dial the father is Louis Dial the mother is Willie and her mother's name is Dale Willie Dial unless it's Willie Dale Dial but it goes on Dale Willie Dial so let's have a look Hmm. I don't know. So, did she pass away? Let me see if we can go in here and find a little more. Trying to decipher who Donna is and which Donna is Stevie Dial's wife and Stevie Dial's sister took a little bit of digging but on Stevie Dial's obituary he was at 704 Normal Street when he passed away so that property is now owned by names that I have not even heard with the last name of Hunt but we're not even going to go there yet but his sister is living at, I'm going to keep the address to his sister private, but she is living in Pembroke, North Carolina. And um, she is married to a, well, she was with a Morris K. Dial. If they're married, I'm not sure, but of course I'm going to dig and we will add Morris K. Dial after the fact onto the family tree. But I did come across that obituary for a Donna Dial. And I'm not sure if it's Donna Dial, his sister, which I do not think, or if it's Donna Locklear Dial, who was his wife. But if you remember from my first video, Donna Locklear is the one that I initially thought was Letitia Stout's mother. This tree thickens. It's deep there are so many limbs to it and branches that I'm a little confused so I am going to add look into Morris K dial add them into the tree I'm curious who their children are because the connection to Florida is without a doubt in my spidey sense on this side of the family and I am going to find it all right so we have Morris Kent a dial 56 from Pembroke he is Donna O dials significant other husband they might still be married like I said I have not checked into it yet but I am going to add him I always wondered the connection to China dial because I've seen her name mentioned a few times and I think I have figured it out. I think China Dial belongs to Donna M. Locklear and her husband, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend because I have not looked for those records yet but his name is Morris Kent Dial. So let's put Morris Kent Dial in as her significant other.
get it right girl get it right okay so he's a male he was born in March 1964 and he is in Pembroke North Carolina all right let's save him and can't dial this Donna M dial is Donna M Locklear 1963 and this is the Donna Locklear that was living at the Deep Branch Road with Letitia Evil's mother and Stevie Dial. Something's going on in this web of the Lumbee tribe that we are weaving. So let's go ahead and see if we can find anything on Kent Dial and Donna O Dial. Get their children in because this connection to Florida is coming quick. And let's see how China Dial is connected because I have seen her name more than a few times. So this is where we stand and this is what I need to work on for part 10 because I am not going to be able to finish this within the 30 minutes that I want to get this video out. But the ones that I am dealing with now is we have a Willie D dial we need to place. We have a Donna M. Locklear which I believe is Stevie Dial's sister. Now how she is married to a dial or with what is his name? One sec. All of these people. Morris Kent Dial. So I'm not sure if they are married. They live at the same address. But I'm not sure they're the same age, basically. I'm not sure if she happened to meet another Dial. Or how the last name is Dial. Or how she has Oxidine in her name. But I'm going to find it out. I want to find out who, we already know this address, Bobby Lambert is. Bobby Lambert is actually on the property for Deborah S. Locklear on Deep Branch Road with some type of eviction filed against him. And this was in 2007. I find that interesting too. And then we have who I believe is the one evicted, Bobby Ray Lambert. I'm going to find out the connections with the mother and who they are. We've got a Gregory F. Locklear. This actually might be the brother to Stevie Dial's wife, but we need to figure that out. We've got this Clarence Jonathan Odom. Now we're getting another name, Odom. How he is in the picture and who he is, I am not sure yet, but the next video we will all know we've got Alton Ray Dial who I need to figure out the connection and here is China Dial who is her mother is it Stevie Dial's a sister okay but who's the father is that Kent and we've got Crystal N Dial we've got Willie D Dial who I believe is Ah, I'm not sure yet. Could be Morris Kent Dial's father. And then we have a Donna Ole Dial. I found a third a Dial, Donna. And third, but not least, I have found Donna K Dial. This is not Donna Locklear Dial, who was married to Stevie, or was divorced. I have to figure this out. And it's not Donna McHale dial that's stevie's sister this donna k dial is a whole different entity that we need to find out where she belongs but she does have china dial as her family members and crystal dial so china could be her daughter i'm going to have to get on ancestry and figure it out and like i said we will have to put that into part 10 also in part 10 we are going to go over the leaves i have 
add them if they're correct and then I am going to share the link to the family tree so all my nosy detectives can help me with some missing parts if you would like all right guys I had to start another family tree so that I can go off of this one with the Locklear Gregory F Locklear that's that 1741 Deep Branch Road and figure out who the siblings are and go from there and I also am doing a map of all the addresses to where everyone lives so that hopefully we can connect that further, further south into Florida. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I am going to start working on part 10 probably today, and I might have it out by tomorrow or Thursday. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer. And uh, subscribe. Everyone have a great day or a great night wherever you are in the world. And stay uh, vigilant. And as we see, COVID-19 is back on the rise. So everyone stay safe from that, of course and from all the protesting and everything else going on in the world during this movement.